Welcome, in front of me is a Realme C11 and today I'll show you how to bypass the Google verification on this device. Obviously you can see that the phone right here is locked and I could unlock it either using the previously set pattern or if I tap right here using obviously the Google account. But assuming we don't know either of those, we can begin the bypass by backing out to the Wi-Fi connection, so right over here. and. You want to select uh, see all Wi-Fi networks, then scroll down and select add new network. And in here, this will bring you a keyboard where you can well, obviously type in some uh, SSID, but it also has a little icon right here for the microphone. Now, once you tap on it, it wants access, right? So what you want to do is actually select deny. Then repeat the process. Again, select deny, tap on it again and then select allow right here which will open up our basically apps and notification settings so in here we're gonna navigate to permissions then we're gonna select the search and we're gonna type in settings And right at the bottom, we have this settings right here, just the settings and blow that in a gray text up info. As you can see, we have a couple settings things, but this is the one that we're interested in, just the settings. And once you click on it, you want to then select open in here. And this simply opens up our settings. So from here, we're going to go to apps and notification right at the top. Then we're going to select, uh, let's see. Yes, app info. Yep, there we go. Then you want to select the three dots and show system. And scroll down to Google, uh, Google Play Services to be more exact. There we go, Google Play Services. You want to click on it and then select disable, disable app. And let's see, do we need to force stop it? Nope, we actually don't, okay. And once you have disabled play services, we're gonna now back out. So from the Wi-Fi again, tap on your Wi-Fi and continue the setup. And this will now uh, again start checking for updates and normally uh, before this would show us that we need to verify the Google account, right? or the pen pattern password that was previously used. Now it's actually not gonna do anything and I just realized that I forgot to enable one thing, I'm pretty sure. Actually, okay. I'm gonna back out. Nope, not what I want to do. There we go. So I for some reason, we can't really disconnect from the Wi-Fi that I'm connected at, but we can set up, select this option right here, set up offline. So we're gonna do that. Okay, let's see. This is not really going anywhere. Try that again, allow, let's go to permissions. Settings, Oop, not what I wanted. Let's go back, there we go, settings. Open, apps and notifications. Oh, there we go. Wait, that actually changed how it looked like. So again, we're gonna select see all 35 apps. Show system. Select our Google Play services. We're gonna enable it. 
let's go back to the Wi-Fi connection page. So again, let's back out. Set up offline. Oh, there we go. So now we can select more. Skip. So right now, just go to the setup till you see your home screen. And once you see it, you want to navigate to your settings and then scroll down to system. There we go. System and from system, you want to select reset options and choose erase all data factory reset. Then obviously tap on erase all data and get blocked by the percentage. At least that's my case. Uh, my phone is below 30%, so apparently I can't do it right now. Uh, but basically, if you have phone above 30%, or I believe if you also plug it in for charging, you will be able to confirm this and proceed further. Now, the reason you want to do this is because the phone is still technically locked. We just kind of tricked it into allowing us to, to finish up this setup. Uh, but by doing factory reset through settings, like we are right now, this will basically remove all the data from the phone and that includes also the Google account along with the pin pattern password that was previously used to protect this device and thus also fully unlocking it. Now unfortunately this will take a couple of minutes because it is a factory reset uh, at which point once it's completed you will be back in the setup screen with the device at that point fully unlocked so you can set it up however you like. Now, because I can't really show you this right now, and honestly, it will not provide you with any additional information, because once you confirm this and select erase all data, it does its thing, and from there you can the set up screen and go through it however you like. It's as easy as it can get from there. So yeah, simply perform factory reset and you're done with the bypass. So anyway, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.